Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Last Goodbye by Jeff Buckley today. Just before we jump into it, I'll let you know that you can support me at Patreon. That's the place to go to get a tab for this and all my other tunes. Um, if you'd like to do that, a few other goodies over there as well. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I've also made a Spotify playlist that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it, so you can have a listen through that and see if you want to learn any other tunes. Um, I'll also let you know I've made a cover of this, which um, is linked below, and just so you can watch me play through all the parts and seeing everything fit together. Um, also, if you like and subscribe, that'd be a huge help, um, and I'd really appreciate that. But now that that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. All right, so for this tune, we're in open G tuning. So from low to high, we've got D, G, D, G, B, and D. I've um, got quite a few sections to this. I think it's 11 all up. So we've got the slide intro, then what I've called riff one, then we've got riff two slash verse three. They're the same same thing played. Then we've got verse one, verse two, got a short break. Um, I've written out the string section that happens um, sort of in the middle of the song. Got a bridge, verse four, verse five, and then the ending. So I'll go through section by section, give you an example of each part, and then I'll teach it to you. Um, you'll also need a slide just for the opening section. Um, all right, so we'll start with the intro and it just goes like this. <laughs> So just with our slide, and we're just holding it over 2nd fret, then sliding it up to 5th fret, up to 12th fret, and then down to 7th fret. And you just repeat this four times for the intro, and you can just do a little bit of sort of vibrato. Just to give it that sort of feel to it. Um, but that's... That's the slide intro, and you're sort of hitting, you can hit all the strings if you like, they're all in open tuning, but you sort of want to strum and then hit the upper. So sort of strum the middle of the of the strings, and then sort of accent with the, the higher strings there. But that's the slide intro. All right, so then we'll play what I've called riff one, and it's just this refrain that happens, um, and just sounds like this. So we're just um, holding down 12th fret on the 5th and 4th strings and strumming all strings. And then just moving the note on the 5th string back one fret. So we've got 11 on the 5th string and 12 on the 4th string. And you're just going between these two. So that's what I've called riff one. And so you sort of repeat that four times. You do that four times. Um, and this sort of pops up in verses and stuff, but I'll let you know as we go along. Um, so that's riff one. Next section to learn is riff two. And riff two is the exact same as verse three. Um, so it sounds like this. And this is just when, uh, leading into when the vocals start. All right, so we start off with this. So what we've got is on the sixth string, fourth fret, 
And we're just going between that and then sort of a, a chord that we're flattening out with our first finger. So over the fourth, third, and second strings in the second fret, I hold them down and you just go between. So you do that three times. Then you slide up from four to seven on the sixth string. And then we've got the same little movement. But we just do it two times now. So we've got seven, then flattening our first finger over the same three strings, this time in the fifth fret. So you've got... Then we do basically the same thing. Just move down. So now we're doing second fret on the sixth string and open fourth, third, and second strings. Do that three times. And then we slide up to ninth fret on the sixth string. And then um, same little movement. Nine on the sixth string. Then got that chord over the uh, fourth, third, and second strings, this time in the seventh fret. Do this twice. And you just repeat this around. So you sort of do that three times, and then for this section to finish it off, just to get into the vocals, we go. So we're just holding down 11th fret on the 6th and 4th strings to get that octave and then 9th fret on the 5th string and strumming all the strings. And then we just got the same chord and we slide it back 2 frets. So now we've got 9, 7, 9 and again strumming all the strings. Yeah, so that is that section there. Right, next part to learn is verse one, and this is when the vocals come in. Um, so this part goes like this. back to riff one there. All right, so um, for this section, we start out playing basically riff one. But this time it's just those two times around. So you play that, and then we've got these, these chords. So we've got octaves, because we're in uh, this open G tuning. We've got octaves that we're going to play um, with our third and fourth fingers on the sixth and fourth strings. So that's um, ninth fret on six and four, and then we're going to play seventh fret on the third string. So you do that, then we sort of slide down, slide down. So now we've got seven seventh fret on the sixth and fourth strings and now 6th fret on the 3rd string, so play that with your 2nd finger. Just do it in this sort of fingering, just because it's easy to switch between. I'm just going between your 1st and 2nd fingers on that 3rd string. Um, yeah, so you do that chord. Then we go down to 2nd fret, so you've got the octaves on 6th and 4th strings. So you just sit on that for a little bit. Up, to, slide up to fourth fret, then up one more fret. So now we've got fifth fret, and we're replacing that note on the third string now. So fourth fret. So we've got five, five, four in terms of fret numbers. Um, so this section so far. Just 
just that last bit, you just do the octaves, slide up to seventh fret. Um, then we've got this really lovely major seven sounding chord. So open sixth string, seventh fret on the fifth and fourth strings, sixth fret on the third string, and fifth fret on the second string. We've got top string open. So you just sit on that. Um, and then we go back to those chords that we played before, just in a slightly different order. So just uh, got that octave, so 7th fret on the, sorry, 6th fret, 7th fret, yeah, on the 6th and 4th strings, 6th fret on the 3rd string, slide it up to 9, 9, 7, and then down to 5, 5, 4. So from that major 7 chord. That's verse one. Um, then you get back to the riff, riff one. Um, then we've got verse two, which is pretty similar to verse one, um, just slightly different order of chords. And then we've got riff two at the end of this as well. So. Verse 2 sounds like this. Alright, so verse 2 starts out with riff 1. Exactly the same as what we played earlier. Um, then we've got so same chords as we played in verse one. Um, so we've got ninth fret on sixth and fourth strings, seventh fret on the third string. Move that down to seven seven six. And then down to five, five, four. So you get. Then we do the octaves down again. So on second fret this time. And then up to fourth fret. So second fret on the sixth and fourth strings. And then sliding that up to fourth fret. Then we go all the way up to 12th fret. So we've got 12th fret on the 6th and 4th strings, 11th fret on the 3rd string, and again playing all the strings. So you get... Um, and then we just go back to um, a couple of times through riff 2. Sort of. It's the same chords, but just just these two chords. So from fourth fret on the sixth string, and then flattening our fingers over the fourth, third, and second strings again in the second fret, and then just moving down two frets, doing the same thing. So second fret on the sixth string, and then open fourth, third, and second strings, um, and that is verse two. All right, so immediately after verse two comes what I've called the break, and it's the part that sounds like this. Um, this happens twice in the song, so once where we're up to right now, and then at the very end of the song, just before the ending. Um, so what this is, open sixth string, 
and then we've got this chord which is fifth uh, fifth fret on the fifth string third fret fourth string and fifth fret third string so we go between the open sixth string and this chord so it's open then the chord open so it's just like that do the same thing but then we just change the chord when we sort of strum it a bit more so now we've got third fret on the fifth and fourth strings and first fret on the third string again keeping that low string open and you just repeat this round twice that break section um, so after that comes verse 3 which we learnt um, the third section that we learnt verse uh, riff 2 verse 3 exactly the same so going between those so you do that three times and then you've got that same that same little ending which takes you into the string section um, which I've watching some live clips of Jeff playing this. He often uh, would play this um, on the recorded version. Obviously, it's with the big string section, sounding really lovely. Um, but live, he sort of um, yeah just does the melody, and it sounds like this. So all octaves on the fifth and third string with this sort of droning sixth string going on behind it. So just going to be playing those, those two strings with our second and third finger, fifth and third string. So I'll just say the fret numbers because you don't change your finger position or anything throughout this section. Uh, so just start on 19th fret. then 18, and then 18 slide up to 21. Then we've got, which is 19, 18, 16, 14, 12. Let's do that slide down from 18. And then we've got 12, 11. So, so far, down to 4th fret, up to 6th fret, then this bit which is, so 4, slide up to 6, slide back to 4, slide down to 2, and then we've got 2, slide up to 4, then we've got 6, and then six slide up to 11. Then we've got this. Which is 11, slide up to 12, back to 11, slide down to nine, then slide down to six. Um, then we've got this. Then we've got this which is six, and then six again, slide up to seven, back to six, four, six. Then we've got, which is four, slide up to six, back to four, down to two, and then up to four, then one slide into two, just really briefly. 
and then up to 14 and you can sort of finish it off up to 16 but that gets you into the next section there um, yeah again if you just like to watch it um, in the cover I've done link below you can see it all fitting together there um, but that's the string section um, so coming out of the string section we go into the bridge which has a lot of familiar chords um, as we've already played through the verses so the bridge goes like this So, pretty much the same chords that we've played throughout the verse. So you've got that one starting ninth fret on the sixth and fourth strings, seventh fret on the third string. And we go down, so we've got seven, seven, six. And we go down again, so we've got five, five, four. Sit on that. Then we go back to 997, down to 776, then we've got this, which is just the octaves, so 2nd fret, 4, 5, 7, then you get back to our 1st chord. And just do the same thing. So we've got a seven, seven, nine, seven, sorry, nine, nine, seven, 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 six, and then we just go down to five, five, four, and just sit on that till the end. So this takes us to verse four, and verse four sounds like this. So we've got this. Just repeated three times. So we're holding down seventh fret on the fifth, third, and second strings. So just strumming these. And just sticking our pinky out to eighth fret. And then back to seventh fret. So we've just got that same little movement with just a bass note change underneath. So then we stretch out to ninth fret on the sixth string and then we've just got a change finger position obviously. So we're going to be flattening our first finger over seventh fret on the second and third strings and just doing a little pull off from eight to seven on the second string with our second finger. So you get Then we've got basically the same chord shape as the first sh first chord that we played. Just now the bass note is on the sixth string. So we've got sixth string, seventh fret, and seventh fret on the third, second string again. And again, same little, same little movement as before. And then we just, you can play it with your first finger if you like, fifth fret on the sixth string. Just notice Jeff plays it with his thumb over the back of the guitar there. So fifth fret on sixth string. And you repeat this round three times. So you do that, and then we've got this. So we've just got the same chord shape, moved down. So we're going to be holding 9th fret down on 5th and 4th strings. 
seventh fret on the third string, an eighth fret on the second string, and you go. So you just go. Then you slide down, holding the exact same chord shape. We're now just got fourth fret on the fifth and fourth strings. Um, second fret on the third string and third fret second string. Um, then we move down another two frets, so now we've got second fret on the fifth and fourth, open third string, and first fret on the second string. Then we just pull off that um, for that second string note from one to open. And then we just go up. So um, nearly the same chord shape. We've now got fifth fret on the fifth and fourth strings, third, uh, sorry, fourth fret on the third string, and third fret on the second string. So you strum the chord, and then you just sit on that unison note. So open first string and third fret on the second string. So you do that. And we just change the chord. So now we're just holding down fourth fret on the fifth string, open fourth and third strings and still holding down that unison note. So we do the same thing. For the end of verse four. Um, then it goes back to for a little bit. And then second last section to learn is verse five. Um, and this is the, the bells out in the church tower chime um, verse. So it sounds like this. All right, so this section starts out with riff one. As we start a number of the verses with. So you play that, then we've got. So we're going to be holding down 9th fret on the 5th and 3rd strings, 10th fret on the 4th string. So we strum this. Then we sort of go to a power chord shape on so 7th fret on the 5th string, ninth fret on the 4th string. And slide that up 2 frets. So we've got... And then we've just got... we just got that little chord, uh, the 9, 10, 9 chord on the 5th, 4th and 3rd strings. And we're just going to be doing that and then just moving that up 2 frets and going between these two 3 times. Sorry, just 2 times. Um, but that is verse 5. Then it goes back to the break. And then the very last section to learn is the ending. And the ending coming out of that break goes like this. Alright, 
So we start with which is 2nd fret on the 5th and 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 2nd string. And then we're going to be putting, hooking our thumb around and playing 2nd fret on the 6th string. And then we play, which is the octaves on 4th fret. So 4th fret on the 6th and 4th string, 2nd fret on the 3rd string. Up to another octave shape we've played a number of times, 5th fret on the 6th and 4th strings, and 4th fret on the 3rd string. Then we just finish with uh, this chord, so 5th fret on the 5th and 4th strings, 4th fret 3rd string, and 3rd fret 2nd string, and open 1st string. So it goes... And that gets you to the end of the song. Um, thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, I know a few of you have requested this song and I've been wanting to do it for a while, just taking me a bit of time to get around to it because there's a lot going on in it, obviously. Um, but I hope you enjoy playing along with it when you get it down. Beautiful tune, one of my favourite tunes of Jeff's. Um, yeah, so there it is. Um, like I said at the top of the video, you can support me at Patreon, just like all these lovely people have. Um, really appreciate you doing that. If you do decide to do that, it helps me out a huge bunch. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, like I mentioned earlier, and check out that Spotify playlist I also mentioned. Um, if you'd like to learn a number of other Jeff's tunes or anything else that I've done tutorials for, um, check out the cover I mentioned a couple of times. And if you could like and subscribe, again, that'd be a huge help. But that's it for this one. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.